I think the, there is a very strong case for the sort of work that we do because we can, we can show ways in which it is, is effective in terms of transforming the lives of individuals and also transforming communities. Uh, but the, uh, the downside of that is that uh, the sort of work we do is often seen to be something of a luxury. Uh, and when cuts come, it seems to be the area of work that is often uh, cut by, or has been cut over the years by local authorities. And so it's, it's very often in charities and in churches that uh, they have stayed with this form of work, this form of ministry, because they actually believe that it can bring about change. Uh, and uh, certainly my belief is that it, uh, this ministry of church-related community work can be a transformational uh, uh, ministry. Uh, and if I take, for example, uh, just a couple of individuals, um, Sophie is a young woman who worked uh, on our motor vehicle project. She was somebody who had been in care from the age of six and had been in prison. She came to us knowing that this was her last chance and she proved to be an exceedingly good mechanic and was eventually taken on as apprentice by a local garage. Now, Sophie was nominated for an award under the, the Pride in Milton Keynes um, celebration, which takes place once a year. And she gained the award of Young Achiever of the Year. And she went to the presentation evening and she was with one of our members of staff and she went up to get her award from somebody who was on EastEnders. And Sophie is somebody who doesn't know how to show emotion, so she was completely emotionless. And she came back to the table, and Sue, who was with her, said, I can see you want to say something. And Sophie said, that'll show my mum, except she wouldn't be interested. But her experience with us that year with us where she gained skills and gained a credibility and a value in herself was totally transformational. So you can see that in the lives of individuals and it can be replicated in the lives of communities through having somebody who supports them and really believes in them, that can transform their lives. And I think one of the problems that you see today is that people who actually need support in order to bring about positive change in their lives and being told all their time that they're rubbish, which is how many of the young people that we work with have been told throughout their lives, you are rubbish and therefore they never succeed and never achieve. We have lots of communities, we have lots of people in society today who are being told by politicians, told by other people in society and in their communities, you are rubbish and therefore they do not succeed and they cannot succeed because they need support to bring about that change in their lives. So on an individual basis, this ministry can bring about total transformation. We've seen it and other colleagues will be able to uh, describe the same sort of transformation. But it can also bring about change in societies and we've seen communities that have changed as a result of the intervention of community workers and church-related community workers.